Hello everybody and welcome to part 5 of our Kaggle Data Science Bowl 2017 first data run through tutorial series. In the last video we've we, we covered basically how we can at least manipulate our data. Now we just want to kind of just go ahead and pre-process the data. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is like get rid of this line and I'm just going to say define process underscore data. It's going to take patient as a parameter. It's going to take the labels df as a parameter so it can quickly get the label. Um, it's going to take image picks uh, size. If it's not provided, we'll just assume default 50. How many slices? 20. And then we'll have a visualize and it'll default to false. So from here, let's see. So we're going to. How did how many slices? I must have just deleted that. <laughs> that has to have that, that had to have been there before. I don't know how that got deleted. Anyway, and then I'm also going to change this to 50. Yeah, there's just no way how many because that was how many slices. Yeah, weird. Anyway, <laughs> moving along. So we've got process data. Cool. Everything else I think can just stay the same in that function for the most part. Uh, we'll just say down here, if visualize for whatever reason, we'll go ahead and run this code. Otherwise, <clears throat> as we get to the end here, what we're going to do is we, we need this label basically to be in what's called one hot format. I'll explain that in just a second, but let's start, write it out. So if label equals one. So if the label is a one, I'm just going to say label equals np dot array. 0, 1. That's a 0, comma, not a decimal point. And then copy, paste. I'm not sure what did I do wrong there. L if. I'm, I don't think I've. Something's wrong. That shouldn't be happening. I don't think I've violated anything by doing what I did there. But apparently I did. I don't know. That's, I think that's valid code to have it all in one line. Whenever I have one line underneath the uh, thing, I, I always do that. I guess, oh, here's what's doing it. I knew there was something wrong. Okay, so it's that colon up there. Let me put this back here. I don't think this is pep eight, so I apologize, but, oh, it's still happening. <laughs> I'm gonna have to run this and see what happens. I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll come to that soon. If that's a syntax error somewhere, we'll find it. Just as a quick update, um, do not follow what I said here in these last two lines. Um, Basically, if the label is 1, the array is 0, 1. If the label is 0, the array is 1, 0. I uh, just wanted to make this correction. I catch it in the next video, but I don't want everybody to run, run this process uh, and then see in the next video that they've got to redo it. So um, just make sure that's the case. It's just um, when I copy and paste it, I didn't make the proper changes. Anyway, when we're all done, we're going to return, uh, just for sure, again, numpy array of uh, new slices. And um, label. All right. Now, we already have defined the data directory way up here. So I'm not going to really worry about it, but you, you, you want to make sure you've got that. Um, and then we're just going to make like one big array. Um, and then we're going to save it to a file and that's going to be our data set. Now, a couple things just to note: one, if the data set was big enough, you wouldn't really necessarily want to do this because first of all, it would just blow out your memory. So you'd like maybe try to have the whole data set in your memory. But in our case, this is a data set that's just under 1600 people. It's a 50 by 20 or it's a 50 by 50 by 20, which actually is, is, pretty big for a convolutional neural network, but to have only 1500 samples in terms of how much it's going to take in our memory just to hold that data set, it's like just, you know, tiny. So it's not a big deal. Now, but in most cases, you wouldn't get away with doing this. You'd, you'd probably have to do the pre-processing and what's you call online. So as you're <clears throat> feeding the data through your neural network, you would actually take the data, process the data, return this, and then feed it through your neural network. You would do this online. But obviously, this if you can just do it once, it's going to be quicker to train the neural network over many epochs and stuff. So just if you can, great, pre-process the data. Don't do it online. But if you can't, understandable, um, do it online. But in this case, we can, we can do it. So I'm going to do it. 
Anyway, <clears throat> much data will just equal nothing. Fantastic variable names, if I do say so. For num patient in enumerate patients. If you're on the Kaggle kernel, this is not such a big deal. But if you're doing this against all of the data, this can actually take a while. So it's nice to know where you are. So if num modulo 100 equals 0, print num. So basically, for every 100 patients, we're gonna it's just going to output that number, just so we know like where we are in the data set. <clears throat> now we're going to do a try and accept loop. Um, and I'll explain that in a moment. I'll, I'll fill in the exception soon. So what we're going to say now is image data label equals process data patient, because we're iterating through the patients. Labels, which is our labeled data frame, which actually we probably defined way up here. So actually it's label.df. Coming back down here. Label underscore df. I think I said dot df. Sorry if I said that. <laughs> Labels df. Um, and then we're going to say image pick size equals image size px was the variable. And then hm slices will equal slice. Can't, what did I do up here? I'm just going to say hm slices. This should be fine. Great. We could also have just left the defaults. <clears throat> now anyway, much, much underscore data dot append image data label. And then what can happen is sometimes you won't have the label because um, because label df, as it tries to find that, is doesn't exist. So for some of the patients, it doesn't exist. So except we're going to handle for a key error, which will happen if as e, if that index, if that patient ID doesn't have a label that we know of, um, we're going to get a key error. So we'll just handle for that, and we'll, we're just going to say print. Um, this is unlabeled data. So we don't want to train on unlabeled data. Then, when all of this is done, np.save, and we're going to save as just a simple file, much data dash these formatting dot npy and then dot format and then I'm going to do image size px and then again image size px and then slice count and then we're saving much data so <clears throat> numpy.save just saves to this file name and we're just using string formatting here, just so the file name actually says, okay, it's much data. It is a, you know, a 50 by 50, 20. So this will say much data dash 50 dash 50 dash 20, just so we rem rem we know, okay, this data set has those values. Like that's the size of the data that's in there. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and come here. Patience, let's do just like the first 10, just to make sure it works. So I'm going to run that, sure enough. Label DF not defined. Have I, oh, does that say label DF? It does. <laughs> so it needs to be labels DF. Again, still. Breathe in, breathe out. Image size picks. What do we got up here? Where's our, where's our image pick size? All right, come on, man. <laughs> You're killing me. Image pick size, image pick size, image pick size. Oh yeah, no errors. <clears throat> nope. <sighs> Slice can't. Didn't we? I just looked at this. God. <laughs> what? Okay. All right. Clearly, this is just too many tutorials in a row. I'm I'm really hoping to get through this before frying my brain, but it's just this is just too much. It's just too much for little baby Harrison. All right, I think we've got everything. Let me let me find this file real quick and, and make sure. Okay, that looks good to me. So now, do it for all the patients. Go ahead and run this. This is going to take a, a little. You know, it's going to take a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here because this is just going to be a little bit of a wait. Um, we'll just see how long it takes. There's 1,600 patients, or just under. Um, so it's gonna, it'll take uh, quite a while. We'll see how long it takes me to get to at least a hundred. 
Um, the other thing you, you, you probably could, could have done is just use like multi-processing or something. And that would speed this up significantly. Um, but we really only have to run this one time. So just like start it and then go make some coffee or something and then come back. Uh, maybe, maybe more than coffee. Maybe coffee in a shower and breakfast. And a walk. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, cool. So assuming this doesn't error or whatever, if it does throw me an error or something, I'll, I'll talk about it in the next video. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here. If you've got questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. If this is helping you out, give me an upvote on the kernels that help me out. Uh, otherwise, I will see you in the next video. And we're actually, I, in the next video, we're pretty much going to, we're going to take this data and we're going to start running it through a, a neural net. So big things happening. All right, see you next time.